These are the top 10 most unusual geological formations. Number 1. A blowhole. A blowhole is formed by underground sea caves that extend inward from the seashore, such as lava tubes, and then eventually upward with the opening at the surface. The pressure from the waves push water through the caves and ejects through the surface opening with a force strong enough to create a geyser-like ejection of water that can be as high as anywhere from 3 to 30 meters or 10 to 100 feet tall. They are found in many parts of the world to include but not limited to Hawaii, Samoa, New Zealand, and many other places. Number 2. Gas Emission Crater A gas emission crater is formed by an explosion of highly compressed methane and or natural gas when the permafrost from the surrounding area starts to melt. Due to the lack of permafrost keeping the gas trapped, the gas is violently released, ejecting tons of dirt and rock. These unusual geological formations were first discovered in 2013, with the first crater being seen for the first time in 2014 in the Yamal Peninsula in Russia, with several dozen more being discovered all over Siberia. None of these explosions from these gas craters have been witnessed, only the aftermath. However, these events are becoming more frequent as the Arctic continues to warm. Number 3. Honeycomb Weathering or Tafoni Honeycomb weathering is an unusual weathering and erosion formation that looks like a honeycomb with tightly joined cave-like patterns on its surface. The size of the cave-like indents can be anywhere from 1 cm to more than 10 cm wide. These are mainly formed in sandstone. Theories such as marine erosion, chemical weathering with a soft inside and hard crust remaining, and salt weathering are common explanations. However, there is a theory that the erosion may be caused by biological processes. These formations have been found in the southwest United States, England, and a few other places around the world. Number 4. Ventifact or Mushroom Rock A ventifact is a rock or a rock formation that has been formed by wind-driven sand or ice. They are mainly found in desert climates where there is constant strong winds and a lack of vegetation. Since the sand is heavy, it erodes the bottom of the rock, leaving a large top looking like a mushroom. These formations stay around a few meters tall and don't grow any higher. Number 5. Oxbow Lake An oxbow lake is a U-shaped lake formed by the meandering loop-like part of the river that eventually cuts off from the loop due to erosion and it forms its own lake. The lake was once part of the river. In this diagram you will see where the curves of the river eventually erode and pushes through and it deposits the sand on the original river path eventually blocking it creating the freestanding Oxbow Lake. These lakes are very common around the globe, wherever there is a river that meanders and curves. Number 6. Pingo. A pingo is an ice cored hill covered with rock or silt and vegetation. They are located in permafrost environments in Canada, Alaska, Greenland, and northern Russia. But the greatest concentration of pingos is in Tuktoy Yaktuk, Northwest Territories, Canada. Since pingos are covered with rocks and dirt, vegetation can grow on them. Sometimes one would not notice a pingo unless you dig into one. If the ice melts inside the pingo, it could collapse into an ognip, which is actually pingo backwards. Pingos can be anywhere from 3 to 70 meters or 10 to 230 feet tall and 30 to 1,000 meters or 100 to 3,300 feet wide. They are formed by either closed or open systems. The closed system pingo is called hydrostatic where water collects under the sediment and the water expands upward and freezes. The open system is basically caused by groundwater from a spring or from an outside source pushing upward and freezing as you can see in this diagram. Number 7. Atoll. An atoll is a ring-shaped island with a coral rim. Atolls form over time by a coral reef that forms on the shores of a sinking volcanic island. As the volcanic island sinks, the harder coral reef remains and eventually becomes a separate island. These are found all over the Pacific Ocean. For example, Penryn Island of the Cook Islands is a perfect example of an atoll. Note the white coral reef that was once part of the shore of an ancient volcano. This part right here used to have a volcano in the center. Number 8. Sand Volcano or Sand Boils 
A sand volcano or sand boil looks like a tiny volcano with a summit crater that is formed by upward movement of liquefied wet sand that is formed during an earthquake. The shaking of the land during earthquakes can cause liquefaction of wet sand and fine dirt, very similar to shaking a slushy drink. This causes the wet sand to eject and spread out to form small conical structures that look like volcanoes. Number 9. Mud Volcano A mud volcano is another conical structure that is formed mainly by fine grain mud that is formed by hot water that mixes with minerals and dirt and is pushed upwards by underground pressure. Even though they're not considered true volcanoes, they are mainly found near geothermal and volcanically active areas such as Yellowstone and New Zealand. Gases that are released are mainly methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor. Number 10. Carolina Bays Carolina Bays are oval depressions that are mainly found in eastern North Carolina and to a lesser extent South Carolina, Georgia, Maryland, and Virginia. The mysterious oval-shaped structures in all states gravitate towards Michigan in a northwest-southeast orientation indicated that these may have been formed but not confirmed by an exploding comet over Michigan thousands of years ago. The size of the Carolina Bays can be anywhere from a few meters long to the largest Carolina Bay like Lake Waccamaw in North Carolina that is 5.2 miles or 8.4 kilometers long by 3.5 or 5.6 kilometers wide. Another characteristic of a Carolina Bay is the raised rims with the highest being on the southeast side of the Carolina Bay. While it still remains a mystery on how the Carolina Bays have formed, the following theories have been discussed such as thermal karst lakes from retreating glaciers, a comet explosion, upwelling of groundwater, and sea currents to name a few. But for now, this is one of the very few geological formations that remain a mystery. Thanks for watching our amazing and restless planet.